Good day everyone. Welcome to another video lesson discussion about grade 8 earth science. Today, we will explore the outermost layer of our planet, the Earth's crust. We'll learn how its two main types, the oceanic and continental crust, explains the position of continents and oceans on Earth. These are our goals. Keep this in mind as we go through each part of the lesson. First, describe the characteristics and composition of the oceanic and continental crust. Second, differentiate between the two in terms of density, thickness, location, and composition. And finally, explain how they influence the distribution of continents and ocean. The Earth's crust is very thin compared to the rest of the Earth, just like an apple skin compared to the entire fruit. It makes up less than 1% of the Earth's total volume, but it is the layer where we live and where all landforms exist. Beneath the crust lies the mantle, and below the mantle is the core. This structure allows the crust to constantly move. Being the outermost solid layer of the Earth, the crust is divided into two main types, continental crust, and oceanic crust. The Earth's crust isn't the same everywhere. Some parts form land masses, that's the continental crust, and others form the ocean floor, that's the oceanic crust. The continental crust is the foundation that supports human settlements, forests, and ecosystems because it is elevated above sea level. Asia is an example and other large land masses too. The continents or the continental crust is much thicker, much thicker than the oceanic crust. Its thickness varies. It is thinnest under lowlands and thickest and their mountain ranges. Like in the Philippines, the Sierra Madre in eastern Luzon extending up to 2 kilometers from the surface. And the Himalayas in South Asia where the crust can reach up to 70 kilometers. The continental crust is lighter or less dense than the oceanic crust. Because it is less dense, it floats higher on the mantle, which allows continents to stand above the oceans, creating the visible land surface of Earth. Continental crust is older than oceanic crust. Some parts of the continental crust are billions of years old. This makes the continental crust like an ancient record of Earth's history, containing old rocks and fossils. It's mostly made of granite. Granite forms deep underground where magma cools slowly, which contains lots of silica and aluminum. That is why it's sometimes called shell, in short, for silica and aluminum. The oceanic crust forms the floor of all the world's oceans, including the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, 
and Arctic Oceans. It covers about 71% of the Earth's surface, making it the most extensive crustal type. Compared to the continental crust, which can reach 70 kilometers thick, the oceanic crust is very thin, only about 5 to 10 kilometers thick. The oceanic crust is denser than the continental crust. Its higher density comes from the heavy elements it contains, particularly iron and magnesium. Because it is denser, the oceanic crust sinks lower into the mantle compared to the lighter continental crust. This explains why oceans occupy lower regions of the Earth's surface, while continents are higher. The oceanic crust is geologically young, mostly less than 200 million years old. This difference is because oceanic crust is continuously recycled. New crust forms at mid-ocean ridges. Old crust sinks and melts at the subduction zones. There will be a separate lesson for mid-ocean ridge and subduction zones in the later part of the quarter. Moving on, the oceanic crust is made mostly of basalt, a dark-colored, fine-grained igneous rock. Basalt forms from lava that cools quickly on the ocean floor. It is rich in silicon, magnesium, iron, and oxygen. These elements make basalt denser and darker compared to granite in the continental crust. Because of its composition, scientists refer the oceanic crust as SEMA. In short, for silicon and magnesium. Why continents and oceans exist? You can imagine it like icebergs floating on water. A thicker iceberg, like a continent, sticks out higher above the surface. A thinner, denser block of ice, like the oceanic crust, sinks deeper. This vertical balance between the crust and the mantle is called isostasy, from Greek words meaning equal standing. Isostasy describes how Earth's crust floats on the denser underlying mantle in a state of gravitational balance. This balance explains why Earth has both high continental areas and deep ocean basins instead of a planet covered evenly by water. The lighter continental crust floats higher to form continents, while the heavier oceanic crust seats lower, allowing oceans to exist. Without this density variation and isostatic balance, the entire planet might be submerged, where no continents would rise above sea level. The uneven distribution of continents and oceans in the world about 71% is ocean and only 29% is land is due to these factors. The different composition of continental and oceanic crust results to the difference in densities. The difference in densities explain which crust stays at the bottom and which crust stays on top. Since the heavier or denser 
oceanic crust stays at the bottom. Thus, they form the lower basin of the ocean. This explains why we have more oceans than the land. And finally, we have come to the last part of the session. You are going to complete this table comparing continental from oceanic crust. Also, don't forget to write your realization for today's discussion. And submit your answer as attachment in the Google Classroom. Always remember, the Earth's crust may look still, but it's always in motion, shaping our world every day. This is King Huan Learnings. Keep growing. Keep going. Embrace learning. Thank you so much for your time, everyone. See you in our next video lesson.